if you are an entrepreneur, if you are a coach, if you are a trainer, manager, only your ability to provide really great presentation can make a difference between success and failure. So sales presentation are dynamic events that require constant improvement. A good presentation requires the following. Let me just explain. There are four elements you need to know. Knowing your presentation first is knowing your presentation well will allow you simply to devote your attention to your method of delivery, general approach, vocal variety, and language users. This is very important. If you know what you're going to speak and how you're going to deliver it and you're rehearsing ahead of time, it becomes easier for you. You become more fluent in how you do it. The worst time, this is number two, the worst time to think about what you're going to say is when you are saying. Remember one thing that says prior preparation prevent poor performance. I will say one more time. Prior preparations prevent poor performance. So prepare presentation, prepare you and free you from worrying about what you are going to say next and how you're going to say it, by the way. Your presentation needs to be succinct and impactful. Number three, your presentation should follow a specific order to advance the sale and close the deal. Your preparation should allow you to revert back to where you stop in case you get, you know, all of a sudden diverted from your agenda. Maybe somebody will say something and you really do not want to lose your train of thought at that moment. Put a mental note, address the issue, and go back to it. Number four, your presentation should have a beginning, a middle, an end with a recap summary at the very end. Very important. Should have a beginning, should have a middle, an end, and always a summary at the very end. That way the customer can remember at least three things from your presentation. So regardless of your level of experience, knowledge or capability, always prepare and rehearse your presentation ahead of time. It will make a huge difference in your ability to make money and impress and influence your customer. Many salespeople believe that actually rehearsing their sales presentation will make them sound phony. But it's really wrong. It's better to be prepared than lose the sale due to incompetence, which we see very often. Uh, remember one thing, the worst time to think about what you're gonna say is when you have to say it. I would say one more time, we really need to remember this. The worst time to think about what you need to say is when you have to say it. You really don't have the time to reflect. You are presenting, the customer looking at you. And the last thing you want to do is get confused. So the best presenters in the world spend a lot of time rehearsing their presentation. You only have one shot at leaving a good impression on your audience. Do not squander it. Please do not. Rehearsing allows you to connect with, with, the, with the, the, the words in three ways. Your mouth says the word. So when you rehearse, your mouth says the word. Your eyes see the word. Your ears hear the word. So by experiencing the word through your hearing, you're saying it, and, uh, and seeing senses, you memorize them better and it will sound more natural during the, your presentation. And make sure to polish your presentation. That is really vital. I had a conversation with a sales rep, his name is John, who went from being a great producer for over 15 years to becoming all of a sudden a poor producer within less than a year. Curious, I had a conversation with him to find out the reason behind his uh, performance fall. To my surprise, he confessed that he got sick and tired of hearing his old presentation while it works very well for him and allow him to close many deals and make money he was tired of the script he built over the years. So he created a new one, a new script, a new methodology. So John's presentation took years really to, the old one took years to perfect. Yet he let it go for something that turns to be a total failure. 
You see, new ideas and presentations are great if they produce results. But a presentation that failed to produce results is really worthless. Even if you happen to love it, do not get attached emotionally to anything at all. It's only business. If it works, yeah, great. Keep improving upon it. But if it doesn't, just put it in the, in, in the bin and move on. Your presentation is only as good as the result it produced. That's really what matters. What matters in a presentation is how your customer feel about it, not how you feel about it. It's all about your customer. You might heard your presentation a thousand times. Like the case of John, he gets sick of it. But your customer only hear it once. First time, it's fresh for them. Stick with what works and what yield results. That's really what matters. Your presentation should be concise, pretty much holistic if you can, but you have to be customer centric. Please pay attention to that. It's all about your customer. An excellent presentation requires a few things I'm gonna share with you. Five things, not that many. Know your business solution pros and cons because you will be asked questions and you have to be prepared. Ask open-ended questions that reveal your customer hidden pain. Always engage in a dialogue where the customer do most of the talking. Number three, listen carefully to your customer and take copious notes that you will use later. Stick to your agenda and respect your customer time. Please take notes again, very, it's very important. I see so many salespeople fail because they, they feel like they don't need to take notes. They, they want to look like professional, but actually professional do take tons of no, notes with the permission of the customer and they stick to their agenda. Number four, get the customer to your goals through a succession of yeses. If you can, always have it in a way the customer say yes, yes. So you're continuously moving forward in agreement. You don't want to create any bad blood through the presentation. And finally, number five, you got to handle objection, objections with poise, respect, and tact. Watch your customer buying signals. Remember one thing, the purpose of any good presentation is to create curiosity, interest, and desire to buy. If you achieve that, you will become a wealthy person and you will have a lot of customers that will love you because of your professionalism and direct approach. So thank you for watching.